What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, finally, just released the uh, 2019-20 Panini Prison Basketball Fast Break Edition. Uh, well, this is the five box, one fourth case break, number one. I know it shows number two on your screen, but this is actually number one. Uh, number two is already in the store and a couple spots already taken. And again, this is the Fast Break Edition, and I believe there's only one auto per box. But a very, very popular last season, and a lot of people are very eager to get it back this year, the Fast Break Rookie Autographs. Of course, Jason some Zion Silvers, all that good stuff. And uh, remember, this is number one, guys. Dice Roller, list of customers, Jeremy, down to David Baker, Last Bomb Mojo. Then we got Hawks, down to the Wizards. Let's roll the dice. And we got a six and a three, nine times. Good luck, nine times. One, two, three. Come on, round Three. Four. Come on, man. Five. Six. And I believe it was a nine, right? Six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, and nine. Mark. Down to Fred. Alrighty, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Boston Celtics at the top. Down to the Orlando Magic. And Mark, you got the Celtics. Matthew with the Bucks. Joseph with the Jazz. Fred with the Wizards and Rockets. Bradley the Nuggets. Jeremy told me you had the Phoenix Suns. Um... Mark with the Kings, Fred with the Pacers, Thomas with the Warriors, Carl with the Raptors, Bill with the T-Wolves, Jerry with the 76ers, Nicholas with the Cavs, Fred with the Mavericks, Khan with the uh, Hornets, Sin Yin with the Pistons, Mark, you have the Pelicans, Mark L that is, Fred with the Thunder, Ryan with the Nets, Fred with the Bulls, D-Mac with the Lakers, Sin Yin with the Spurs, Jeremy, you have the Knicks, Matt Schneider with the Clippers, Mark Matheson with the Hawks, Fred with the Trailblazers, Nicholas with the Grizzlies, David with the Heat, and Fred with the Orlando Magic. So again, um, see if there's any trades. I know we're live a little earlier than usual, but uh, if there's any trades, uh, when we come back, I'm gonna pause the video. When we come back, if there's any trades, if not, we'll start the break. All right, guys, welcome back. No trades, so let's just close the trade window. TWC. And let's break open numero uno. Oh, maybe Joe wasn't using this. Well, I'll probably sheet a little. I'll probably sheet after the break, but just in case you guys know what you guys got, I think Joe took out the toner, so it's not gonna work. All right, guys. So here you go. Here's the case. Prison basketball fast break edition, and again, it's a five box, one fourth case break. So we're gonna open up the case, guys. It's gonna have uh, what twenty boxes. So four stacks of five boxes each. And then what we'll do here, we'll use a little dice roll or something to decide which five boxes we're gonna use for this break. Alright, so here you go. See one stack here. Two, three, four. 
So I'm going to use a little dice roll. If I roll a 1, 2, 3, or 4, we'll use that. If it's a 5 or a 6, I'll re-roll until I hit a 1, 2, 3, 4. So this would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's a 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right over there. So really quick, guys, let me, uh... Alright, guys. Let's go through the five boxes. I'm gonna open up all the five boxes, guys. And then we'll rip each box one by one. And then go through each box one by one. So after this, guys, we have that hockey buyback to do. Number one. And then number two is already down to three left. Only five spots total, but. The fact that we already have a couple spots taken, that's good momentum. I'm sure we can try to run back one of those before Joe gets here. And then I'd love to break the cup hockey for you guys as well. That stuff, that break is down to seven. And there's a couple of uh, teams out there that are as low as about 30, 40 bucks. And in a pricey uh, cup hockey case break, it's not too bad. Those boxes are still a little over four, five, six hundred dollars, so. Be a nice fun break to do. I think Kawhi's back today, right now. Ooh, there's a. Whoa. I thought that was a Zion Silver, but I think it's just a base. I wonder how much tickets for that game went today. I think a customer of ours, Patrick, said, "Big Raptors fan. He's driving up to the uh, to the game today." Yeah, is that what they is that what they call it? They call it Jurassic Park. That's kind of cool. I mean, it makes sense, but it's kind of cool. Nice, Sean. You sold that one or just one sold? That's awesome. That sets the value for yours for sure. 
seems a little high, but hey, I'm I'm all I'm all for it. So the triple tribute sold for more than the quad? Man, that's pretty good. Most people would rather chase those quads, but I guess they want that retro set, right? And now that seems more likely. The quads usually sell really well. So yeah, one as low as 302, but then one as high as 1100. That's crazy. Uh, Matthew, you have the Milwaukee Bucks. And I think that's it. I only see your name here once. No problem, man. Last box here, guys. What's going on, buddy? Alright guys, let's go with the first box. I just like the uh, fast breaks. We got a Grant Williams Silver. Fearless Rockets, and there's a Zion.
We got Evan Fournier to 175. Ah, no Eagles. Eagles hater. And we got a Kobe White. Very nice. Little John Morant, luck of the lottery. And John Starks is your fast break auto. And that is a Knicks. New York Knicks. Jeremy Tillman. It's the only team you didn't want, Matthew? I'm sorry, man. That's random.org's fault. Kawhi Leonard to 125, making his return to Toronto today. There's a little Giannis silver. We got Biombo to 175. John Morant. And a little Dylan Windler. Stephen Curry. Jared Allen. Out of 125. Justin Jackson to 75. Reggie Jackson, Javel McGee. We got a number, Jaron Jackson Jr. to 175. DeAndre Hunter. Eric Pashaw to 125. Hashimura rookie. Got Chandler Parsons, number to 20. It's a very nice insert. Um, you should see if uh, you should see like other bigger card shows that are just bigger hobby shows, like let's say like Frankenstein's. See their schedule to see when like BGS or PSA is grading that day, and they, I mean, they should, they could be grading there. I know there's other places like some Long Beach show. I, I believe is once a month. I believe some grading companies do grade there too once a month. Cameron Johnson, but I think Frankincense is a big one where I think the grading services might always be there every weekend or every other weekend or once a month. You know. Check that show. And Mark Price for the Cavs. Sometimes they'll do that, yeah. They'll do raw scoring there. You know, it's a little like gold sticker and close it up. And then you can always send it in to get a real slab. Yeah. Because that's what you want, right? You just kind of want to see how quick you can try to get it. See what it comes back as. Out of 50, Will Chamberlain. And you can always just send it in if it comes back pretty strong. But yeah, definitely check that. I can see if anybody else knows any any places. But I know there's like a Long Beach show. Like once a month. They do on-site grading. Ignas. There you go. Fast break. 
for the Knicks going to Jeremy. And then I'm sure Frank and Sons does some r really quickly. They're moving into their new show, their store though in January, on January 4th. They took over an abandoned like a s Sam's Club in the same city, a city of industry. So now to have like over 800 parking spaces, air conditioning and everything, so it's not just going to be in a huge warehouse anymore, which is kind of cool. So, And they've been open almost every day this month for the holidays, so maybe you can call them or something. Yeah, exactly. And then obviously, like I said, probably in the new year, we'll be doing some submissions for sure in store. So you can always come and drop off your stuff here, but until then, I guess, you know, kind of do something like that for the meantime. RJ Barrett. Yeah, I mean, there's still a couple of vendors that I know of, but I know that since they do have a lot of autograph signings, they always have, like, authentication there, you know what I mean? But there's still a couple of them, though. Eric Claxton, or Nick Claxton, sorry. Because I still have a buddy of mine that sets up there, like, once a month when he gets a bunch of his stuff to sell. And then he buys from people there, so there's still people there. I, what I think is that they may not set up anymore. They'll just hang around one or two card, uh, one or two card booths, and then they sell their stuff to them and to other people in the store. So kind of just cheating a little bit, right, and just not paying for the rent. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas. But yeah, they hardly don't have. I haven't been there in a year, so maybe it's changed in a year. Michael Bridges to one twenty five. But my buddy Eric said he set up last Saturday there, so I was like, "Well, if he's still setting up there, he f ooh, this is nice." R.J. Barrett, look at that a little like bubble. Jeremy Tillman with the Knicks. Yeah, their new location would be pretty sick, though. Ooh. Jalen Noel, out of 75. All right, two more boxes, guys. Wendell Carter Jr. to 175. Alonzo Trayer to 75. Nick's having a good break so far. <laughs> yeah, I know some of the <laughs> some of the people that still set up there. That's what you're talking about. Are still stuck in the '80s and '90s. But there's some good ones. Hakeem Olajuwon that still sell fairly recent new stuff. But the thing is, Sean is that. When they do get anything new in, some of the new modern people that sell there, it's gone like that, that quick. Because the people that buy it from them are there right when they open up and set up, and it doesn't make it to the afternoon, you know? Because that's what used to happen to me when I used to set up at our local car shop nearby. I used to set up at Jimmy's USA in Whittier. We didn't want to do Frank's because we heard some things could be a little shady and it was kind of pricey. But, like... I'd have customers that meet me in front of the door before I even got in to sell one of my, my buddy's cards. And I would literally walk in the door and I'd have nothing else to sell because the guy wanted to buy me out, you know? So people are kind of crazy like that. Ru Hashimura. Nice. But yeah. Maybe with the new space, it'll open up some more card people to want to set up there. Well, I'm assuming the rent's going to be much higher in the new store. Now, ooh, Zach Levine. Nice fast break signature for the Chicago Bulls. Bulls, that's Fred. Tobias Harris to 125. Dylan Windler. Yeah, I know. Well, I think the parking has always killed people there. You know how it is, right? Ridiculous. 
So having 800 car spaces in your own parking lot's gonna be great. Andre Drummond to 125, but yeah, in the early 2000s it was much different. Now you see Funkos and stuff like that everywhere now. Josh Hart to 175 for the Pelicans. I mean, my brother still goes there for, like, toys and stuff like that, collectibles, but... Well, 75. LeBron James, far out. Uh, 47 of 50. Dallas Mavericks. And Romeo Langford. For Boston. Alright, last stack right here, guys. Good luck. <laughs> Hashimura fireworks. And Romeo Langford is your fast break signature. Nice for the Boston Celtics. And Mark with the Celtics. Oh, for sure, right? There you go. That's a nice one. We got Avery Bradley Lakers. Weatherspoon. And little RJ Barrett, luck of the lottery. And there you go, guys. That was the breaks. We had a lot of things to penny sleeve and top load. A lot of the rookie silvers, the prism, uh, like bubble ones, the numbered cards, all that good stuff. No Zion. Not much Zion, at least. Only one base card. But here with the autographs, Mar Romeo Langford, Zach Levine, little RJ Barrett there, Ignas. We got uh, Price, and we got John Starks. So there you go, guys. This is number one. Number two's in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Coming up next is some buybacks hockey. Appreciate it.